I'm looking at the readings for Sunday, and in particular the gospel passage that tells the story of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. We know from the context that the story is said to have taken place on the third day, that is, the day of the resurrection, but it's now late in the day. They say the day is almost over. So it's Easter Sunday evening, and the resurrection itself, itself took place in the very early hours of that day. In some sense, it's old news already. The women who first encountered the empty tomb, Mary Magdalene, probably others, they've spent their whole day in stunned joy. They were, they were celebrating the first Easter. But it sounds as if the other disciples were puzzled and doubtful about it all. And of course, most people throughout the rest of Jerusalem, indeed throughout the rest of the world, they had no idea that anything out of the ordinary had taken place. These two disciples walking to Emmaus, they were still in a place of sorrow and mourning and disappointment. We were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel, they said. We were hoping, past tense. Late in the day of the resurrection, their hope still seem gone. I guess this story just makes me think of the difference between Easter, the event of the resurrection itself, and our own individual experiences of it. Even though Christ was risen, many of his disciples still didn't know, still didn't believe, still hadn't had their own experience of the risen Christ that made Easter real to them. Thomas waited a week surrounded by people in joy before he had his first Easter experience. This Easter for us, of course, was an unusual one. For some of us, it was a truly joyful occasion. But for many, well, under the circumstances, we may still be feeling as though we're in Lent. We've observed the event of the resurrection, but the experience of it, for that we may still feel as though we're waiting. Maybe we join the disciples on the road to Emmaus who share their stories and say, we were hoping, we were hoping. Even for Jesus' closest disciples, Easter was not something they experienced immediately. It took time, just as it may take time for some of us. But our faith is about holding on to the event of the resurrection, to our belief in it, and to God's promise of it. Whether or not we felt the experience of Easter, whether or not we felt that joy, whether or not we've been able to celebrate, we still believe it happened. And we hold on sometimes to the experiences we've had in the past in which we knew that joy, even if we all don't experience it right now. And we hold on to the faith of those around us, just as those early disciples did before they entered fully into their Easter experience. Be well and stay safe this week.